Hey guys, hey, it's Lee Godbolt with Junk Removal Authority, where we help junk removal business owners make more money and live a better life. If you guys are looking for digital marketing solutions for the junk removal industry, the premier websites, websites that not only look amazing, look great, tell everybody that you're the brand in your market, the professional brand in your market. They also convert really, really well. And then we know how to drive traffic to it through search engine optimization and uh, Google Ads management. So if we can... Uh, we can assist you. Check us out at junkra.com. We'd love to talk. When do you know if your prices are too expensive? So here recently, somebody sent us a message over and said, hey, I'm having about a 400 and I think it was $33 job average. And in a market where he believes he's maybe the most expensive. So, he, you know, what he's asking is, hey, it seems like I've kind of plateaued in terms of number of jobs. I haven't been growing as much as I'd like. Should I lower my prices to get more volume? And this particular business is about a half million dollar a year company. So he's doing about 500 grand a year. Um, so there's certain months he'll do, you know, 70,000, a little bit over, and then certain months he'll do 50,000 or, or whatever. So he's got a good size business going, but he's at that point that a lot of people get where um, they can sometimes feel like they sort of plateau. Oftentimes they just gotta continue doing what they're doing and give it a little bit more time and it'll go to working. The other thing that occurs from time to time is uh, they, they have to look at increasing their Google ad spend and their, their advertising spend for whatever's working. Now in his case, uh, we gotta take a look to see if that's possible. He's in a market that isn't huge. It's sizable, but it's not humongous. So. Um, you know, th th that'll have to evaluate. We'll have to figure out, hey, you know, in his market, can he get to his, you know, 1.2 or 1 million or whatever like that from where he is? We just have to evaluate the size of the market. Or does he need to look to expand it in another service or another area? But his question was, is my, should I lower my prices? And my answer to that is this. The very first thing I want to know is what is your on-site cancellation rate? So once you show up on site, what percentage of jobs are you closing? If you're closing 90% plus, especially if you're 93, 95, 98, at that point, your prices are good. If you're 98, your prices are too low. So raise them on up. Now you can also look at his cl phone closing rate as well as the cancellation rate overall. So people actually calling in to cancel after they've scheduled. The junk mill industry average in terms of total cancellations from the you know, number of jobs that are booked from uh, uh, basically first time customers, it, it, it's about 15 to 20%. Uh, the longer you've been in business, the lower that number is gonna be because you're gonna have a lot more previous clients. But if you're a fairly new business and the majority of your clients you're getting are new, you're likely gonna see cancellation rates overall between on-site and off-site in the neighborhood of 15 to 20%. Sometimes a little higher, Florida seem, team, tends to be higher, California tends to be a little higher just because people are really price sensitive there, but that's the average. So if you're uh, if you're within that average range, you're fine on price. If anything, you might even look to raise your rates a little bit to get uh, some additional top line revenue and to drive some additional profits in there. So in his case, we haven't investigated the numbers yet. He just contacted us. I said, hey, look at these. That's what you need to look, uh, look into. The other part of it is, is that in and of itself does not tell the entire story. How good are you at selling the job on site? How good are you at selling the job on the phone? And not only selling the job on the phone, but instilling enough confidence in your company when the customer calls that that customer isn't going to call somewhere else, isn't gonna look for something else because they, they felt so good about that initial phone consultation, that initial booking process. If your booking process is tight, if you know how to sell it and it's tight, if your own site process is tight, you know how to sell it and it's tight, then you're going to be in a lot better position than somebody that is not really running a sales organization, but is instead just looking at themselves as a garbage hauler, doesn't know how to sell the job, doesn't know how to sell value over price. That person's going to have a lot lower average job sale and a higher cancellation rate unless they decrease their prices. That's how you evaluate. Should you lower your prices? I've never once lowered our prices in the 12 years we are in business. Now, listen, depending on what happens with the economy, which right now I'm starting to feel a little better about the economy, but depending on what happens on the economy, the day might come where we need to lower our prices. I don't think it's here yet. 
I don't think any locally owned business has gotten too expensive unless it's the minimum load. Guys, minimum load jobs are good. You don't make money on minimum load jobs, but a minimum load job today could be a full load or a multi-load job tomorrow or next year or in two years. Also, it's an opportunity for people to see your fully branded trucks going down the road to, to give referrals, to give reviews, and to create repeat business. So the minimum loads, that's the one area that I see oftentimes we price them too high. Nowadays, in most areas, 125 is a good price for a minimum load. Um, much above that, maybe 150 in certain areas, but much above that, and you're going to miss out on most of those minimum load jobs. Guys, I'm Lee Gobble, Junk Removal Authority. Again, uh, digital marketing services. If you're looking to drive more leads, make sure you check us out. If you guys are looking to get in business too, we have an amazing business package program that we've put probably 100 people through over the past five years and most of them are having a tremendous success. We'd love to work with you. So check us out, junkra.com. Appreciate you watching. Hit that like button, that subscribe button. Comment on this video if you've got any feedback for us. Thanks again.